Hello, darklings. The darkness here, and today we're gonna t uh, we're gonna talk episode thirty six of Dragon Ball Super. So, if you haven't caught, if you haven't kept me up, and you haven't seen the new episode. It is out right now. Um, I watch all the episodes on KissAnime.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, now, episode thirty six, Vegeta versus Magetta. We learn. Um, my kind of conspiracy theory of uh, Champa using the cube as kind of a trap kind of fits in, but he still kept it within the rules. The fact that it can still flow through, flow air through. Um, that being shown when uh, the referee is using the cool air that's blowing out of this um, thing uh, to get air to help him cool down. I have something up. Well, besides, you know that. Um, now, my little theory, um, Vegeta beating Magetta, throwing him into, um, or doing the same thing that Goku did. Done. Nope. Didn't happen. Um, Vegeta, uh, <clears throat> I was trying to remember, getting pissed, enraged, the fact of, uh, Magetta is, um, Magetta's actually, Doing a bunch of uh, just kind of wearing him down with the heat. We get it, and then um, <clears throat> eventually <clears throat> Vegeta gets uh, annoyed at one point and says, "I'm gonna finish this one last one. This last blast gets sets up with the Gallic gun, um, then uses the Gallic gun on uh, Magetta. Magetta had well, as soon as well as when." Vegeta was powering up with the Gallic gun. We got to heated it up even hotter to a red hot. The air was flowing. The heat was actually flowing outside the cube and out to everyone. Everyone was feeling it. Um, I believe it was Krillin has said, if it's this hot out here, it's got to be hotter than hell. Literally hotter than actual hell in there. Which I like. If you, yeah. Um... <coughs> Now, when and Vegeta uses it, Megata sits there, um, blasts Vegeta, uh, hairs, um, sorry, uh, Megata uses his lava spit at Vegeta's, uh, gallant gun. They collide, and next thing you know here, uh, actually that was, I don't know, um, this hand will, I'll take my ring off, this hand will represent kind of, uh, Gallic gun, this will represent their kind of lava spit. It kind of connects, and you see it just kind of sit there next to you know, it's just complete power of. And it's actually started hardening, the lava started hardening, um, which I kind of thought was pretty cool. Um, again, you then saw a piece breaks off at the end, and it kind of looks like a club or a bat, which, um, and Magetta grabs that. Vegeta kind of being off, and Magetta then, um, or sorry. Megeta spits his lava, spitting his lava out, uh, and Vegeta to catch him up, to distract him while Vegeta, er, and then him, while he, so he can grab the club, like, hardened obsidian, I believe is what it is. Um, yeah. He then, Vegeta chops the lava in half, which logically wouldn't make sense, but, <clears throat> he's just, no, kind of thing, um. And they tried warning Goku, trying warning him, um, even trying more, trying to warn Vegeta to go down lower because we all, um, due to science, heat rises. <clears throat> cool air, um, just like in a burning building. Uh, I'm using that reference in a firefighter, but um, in a burning building, if uh, say if I'm in a burning building and I'm a fire, doing calls and all that as a firefighter, I'm going out trying to save people in the house or trying to make sure that every no one's in there, trying to get rooms. Or trying to do stuff inside. I'm in there. I'm not wanting to stand up because heat rises. Um, and if I'm if I run out of oxygen in my oxygen tank, I'm gonna sit there. And I'm gonna have to pull off my uh, respirator mask off my or off my mask. Not the respirator off my mask. And I have. But you want to be low because hot air rises. Cleaner air is low. So if on a scale, hot air, it's um layers of just bad and pure air heat and all that raises but the cleaner cooler airs down low we all know this if you get really hot during the summer and you're laying in bed I like to mine's up high mine's a good 
two feet off the ground. If I really wanted to and I had the room in my room, I, w I could just lay on the ground and cool down. But <clears throat> Goku telling Vegeta to do this, Vegeta being... Saying with pride, saying, fuck you, I don't need your <clears throat> advice. He then, uh, Vegeta sits, um, yeah, goes through all that, the guy like gun and all that. Um, Vegeta is then hit. He fall, he is plummeted towards the ground. Next thing you see him do the whole, the whole thing they usually do where they flip and land. He lands. Immediate thought is, oh, shit, everything's gone to shit. Cave versus Vegeta. Done. When I first saw this, I'm thinking, this isn't gonna, this isn't good for the franchise. But, a plot twist. Um, I don't want to send too many spoilers out, but, um, we all know what Cave versus Vegeta is gonna happen. But, um, Vegeta actually landed on a piece of the, f uh, arena that was sitting on the ground. A tiny piece about that, that big. He lands on that. Um, the referee sees this, says he's fine. Safe, safe. They show he shows it. Everyone's like, Fuck. you know, Chompa's like, Arr. shit. Beerus is like, yes. Um The fight goes on. Uh, everyone's like, Oh, he's saved by the rules. We all know the way Vegeta is. He's he's uh pride. Saiyan pride and all that. Vegeta, you see him raising up, his head down, just darkened eyes. You can see, you see um, a vein pop out of his head. He's getting enraged. And he says, Say, I was saved by the rules. He, <clears throat> now, the, we still have the cube at this point and all that still. Which I just gave that away. But, um, Vegeta powers up. Just pure rage, power of Saiyan. He's in the Super Saiyan. He's, he's powering up. And, um, the, ble the, pa the sheer power and energy of this is just expanding. Um, it actually hit, touches Megeta and pushes Megeta back until his feet catch on the ground, kind of stop him. And again, this is like, kind of shit. Um, and we see the cube actually start to crack and uh, a bunch of places also and just glass everywhere. Goku, Vegeta, everyone, uh, but most people are like, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Um, a, pe a big piece about... In real life, probably about that big, probably about that long, with a tip, on, sharp tip on it. Comes flying a hit, hit, using his mac, his um, losing his intense speed, that just giving off a little more of his powers and speed too. Um, just, eyes closed. No, his eyes are closed. He catches it. Just like, okay. Um, Vegeta or Piccolo and Goku look at Manaka. Glasses around his ball pierced in the seat behind around Manaka. Manaka just. Um, staring off into space, kind of, med meditating, sleeping, I don't know what it is. Um, Goku saying, oh, well, I, I wouldn't expect any less from the strongest, but, uh, the strongest opponent ever. Sorry about the dog, someone just came home. Um, <coughs> sorry, my sibling came home. But, um, then, uh, Vegeta being in still enraged by the fact that he's, he was saved by rules. Um... He then sets up for the final flash. The whole rage. Goku saying, Are you sure you under this sheer? But she's not giving two fucks. Getting enraged. Um, <clears throat> brings his hands together, gets ready for the final flash. Start you see the ball form in his hands and um kind of energy lightning is hitting the hitting the arena, tearing indents into it, hitting the planet, showing off a lot of power of Vegeta's rage power. Um Chomp is saying, ha, go right the hell ahead. You gonna... Never went... No, no, that was back a little bit. He's saying, um, yes, get enraged, lose, um, lose controls, thinking that's gonna happen, but Vegeta used his anger towards his benefit and blew the square apart, but, um, square barrier. Um, he then uses the final flash on Megeta. Megeta, um, seeing that, uh, sees this coming at him, he sits there, final flash. Megeta, no. Rege um, is pushed all the way to the edge. Um, and then, yeah, show you remember this, um, I watched it this morning going to, um, school, uh, Vegeta, once that happens, there's a little bit of smoke, Ve next to him, here's Vegeta in front of Megeta, um, ready to punch him, just straight up, um, he hits Megeta hard, um, in the arms, Megeta's like, 
<laughs> and in the show, and then this is where we find out a little more about the uh, metal, pe metal people. Uh, because Vegeta calls him a piece of tin scrap. I mean, Megato's sitting there like, what? Like, he's affected, like, um, how people are affected by words nowadays. Kind of showing bullying, kind of, right there. Um, it threw Megato off, and you see a good chunk of the arena just blown to shit when this happens. And Vegeta literally sends him flying onto the ground, ring out. Um, Vados then states that she is going, she has to fix the arena. So there's their winner. Super Saiyan Vegeta beats Megato. No, we didn't see the buff, super strong, pissed off Vegeta like we did for, with Vegeta versus Cell. Which I'm okay with, because it just would have slowed Vegeta down. It would, probably would have been, been a downfall for G Vegeta. In the pre, in the, um, the case of the fact that they're showing off glimpses of next episode. We see that it's Cade versus Vegeta, the fight everyone's been waiting for. Um, we get glimpses in Vegeta's pushing Cade to his limit and pissing um, Cade off. There's a screenshot. I can't do it because I don't. I'm running it off my phone. I'd love to show you the screenshot, but um, it shows uh, Cade just going super Saiyan, and he stated that Saiyans in Universe Six did not know, could not turn into Super Saiyans to know how to transform it transformations. Goku set, um, going back between Dragon Ball Z, Goku set the trend in Universe 7 for going, um, Super Saiyan, everyone restarted, started happening, and just, it's, it's kind of, instead of, snowballed, um, that's what I said before. Now, um, Vegeta being Super Saiyan, K was actually keeping up with Super Saiyan Vegeta, in his, ba K being base form, K getting pissed, um, he ended up saying that, <clears throat> uh, Saying um in that screenshot I was talking about, you see Cabe as Super Saiyan Cabe <clears throat> asking Vegeta, "Did you forget about the rules?" Now I think that Cabe is a complete good guy. He follows rules and all that. And um maybe Vegeta says something about the universe six uh, saying saying, "Oh, there they must be weak. They're worthless." Saying that they should they should have been annihilated and shit like that. Maybe pissing Cabe off. See Cabe goes into Super Saiyan. At that point, Cabe is uh overpowering Vegeta because Cabe is. Um, able to keep up with uh, Vegeta in his base form, so Vegeta then goes full, goes into Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan evening the playing field, um, catching the attention of Hit. So the way I see it, <clears throat> Universe Six, two fighters left: Cave, Hit, Universe Seven, Goku, Vegeta, Manaka. I believe that is going to end. Um, if Cave beats Vegeta, which possibility. Um, Goku steps in, or, yeah, Goku steps in, then it comes out, and they, uh, double knockout, double ring out, whatever, um, hit versus knockout happens, or, um, if, if there's a possibility of Vegeta winning, and hit, then beats the crap out of Vegeta, then goes on to Goku, beats the crap out of Goku, then t gets tired and it's not as good with, uh, Hit versus Manaka. But I, what I think um, is Vegeta and Cave are going to knock each other out. Then it's going to go to K or Goku versus Hit. Um, which I'd like to see because Goku likes to push himself. And that <clears throat> just what we've seen of Hit could push, could put Goku in Super Saiyan. Got Super Saiyan, um, Hit going full power, then going all out. Hit beats Goku and then goes into Manaka. So... That's my speculations for episode 37. Um, it may go from episode... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's... But 37 will be... K we know, because I believe it's 38 or 39. It is, the title is Universe 6's la uh, Final Fighter, stating that Cave does end up losing somehow. So, I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is my speculation. That's the review of episode 36. Summary. Um... That's my prediction for episode 37 and on. <clears throat> Tell me what you think of episode 36. If you've seen the episode, I, would, I liked it. It was pretty good. Tell me, did you like it? Did, did you hate it? Um, what are your theories for episode 37 and on? Uh, I'll be doing a video later today, probably on... Yeah, I'll do it on Dragon Ball Z Universe. Um, I'll get this uploaded soon. Um, 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, end that like button to life with your death scythe. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I'm a multi-purpose channel. I do uh, Dragon Ball Super reviews. I do games, vlogs, other things. It's just a bunch of things. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.